Before we move forward, a brief comment on the objectives on Lupin. You can see them all here. Um, the 20x 0.8 objective is an excellent option if you're looking at cellular imaging. Uh, so looking at which cells of what kind are in big pieces of tissue or whether cells have multiple markers in them. Those kinds of questions are well suited to the 20x.8. If for anything subcellular, I would strongly recommend you use the 63x1.4. That's an oil immersion objective. If you have scenarios where the resolution provided by the 20x.8 is not quite good enough, but you really don't need oil, and you want to scan a large region where uh, using oil might uh, complicate things, we have this intermediate objective, which is a 40x0.95. This is an air objective. It has a slightly higher resolution than the 20x0.8. It comes at a cost of a significantly reduced um, imaging area, so it's four times smaller, and uh, it is not as bright an objective as the 20x. But for certain circumstances, this 40x can be a good choice. Uh, the 20x0.4 is a specialized objective that is compatible with plastic multi-well plates. So if you use plastic multi-well plates, you should use this objective and only this objective, aside from the 5x, which I'll discuss in a second. Uh, it also is compatible with something called PLAS-DIC, which is a form of contrast enhancement that is compatible with plastic and gives results similar to something called DIC. Um, so if you're trying to image things through plastic uh, plates, this is a good option. Uh, the SF refers to the sample finder. This is a feature that you don't really switch to by yourself. This is only used when you use the AI sample finder wizard. The 5x is uh, the objective that you typically use to make maps, both as part of the AI sample finder, or if you want to make maps later, that is the uh, preferred option.